Hi everyone! This week in reading, I figured instead of doing Raz Kids, I would read a couple of some good read alouds for the end of the year. All right? This is our last week of school. We just have today, Wednesday, and then Thursday is our class party. So we've made it to the end of the school year, and you should give yourselves a pat on the back for that. Um, but I thought I would read a couple fun books about summer and the last few days of school. So today I have Here Comes Summer. It is by Peter Maloney and Felicia Zakowskis. Chapter 1, End of the Year. It was June. School was ending soon. So this book's a little different than us because we end in May. Mrs. Robinson asked the children what they were going to do for their summer vacations. I'm going to visit my grandparents for the summer, said Felicia. I'm going to the beach, said Cliff. I'm going to the lake, said Toby. And I'm going to the moon, shouted Russ DeLuca. You think he's actually going to the moon? Looks like he's going to the National Air and Space Museum. Everybody laughed, except for Peter. Peter didn't want summer to come. Chapter 2. Peter Takes a Trip. Peter and Felicia were walking home from school. I wish school wouldn't end, said Peter. But you had lots of fun last summer, said Felicia. But that was before school started, said Peter, before I met you and Toby and Rich and Lou and Patty and Cliff and... So why do you think he doesn't want to go to summer break? Seems like it's because of all the friends that he's made that he's going to miss. Suddenly, someone stuck out his foot from behind a tree. Peter fell. Felicia gasped. Rusk DeLuca laughed. And don't forget me, he said. What do you think? Was that a nice thing to do? Felicia helped Peter up. I'm going to miss everybody this summer, said Peter, except maybe Rust DeLuca. Chapter 3, Class Cleanup. The next day, the class began its year-end cleanup. We've got a lot of things to throw out or take home, said Mrs. Robinson. The children went through their desks they found some interesting things. Toby found a picture of a pumpkin. I drew this in October, she said. Rich held up a drawing of a turkey. I did this in November, he said. I got these in February, said Felicia, holding up a handful of Valentine's Day cards. Russ DeLuca held up a piece of bubble gum. I chewed this back in April he said. Yuck. Look what I found, said Peter. It was a story about Peter's vacation last summer. Wow, said Mrs. Robinson. You did that last September, almost a whole year ago. There were drawings of Peter in the pool, in the park, and at the zoo. It looks like you had a lot of fun last summer, said Mrs. Robinson. I guess I did, said Peter. Chapter 4, The Last Day The next day was the last day of school. Who hasn't told us their summer plans yet, said Mrs. Robinson. Rich, Patty, Peter, and Felicia all raised their hands. I'm going to camp to learn the violin, said Rich. I'm going to take swimming lessons, said Patty. And I'm doing exactly what I did last summer, said Peter. 
and I'm going with going to spend my vacation playing with Peter, said Felicia. He really knows how to make summer fun. But I thought you were going to spend the summer at your grandparents' house, said Peter. I was, said Felicia, until I talked them into visiting me instead. Chapter 5. School's Out. The bell was about to ring. The school year was about to end. Everybody was laughing and smiling, except for Russ DeLuca. Russ looked sad. What's wrong, Russell? asked Mrs. Robinson. I'm going to miss everybody, said Russ. Mrs. Robinson gave Russ a pat on the back. Don't worry, everybody's going to miss you too, said Mrs. Robinson. So I hope you enjoyed that book. And although we get excited for summer, there are lots of friends that we're going to miss during that time. But remember that you can always keep in contact with your friends. You can Zoom with them. You can drive by their house and give them a big wave. Um, but I hope this book makes you get excited for summer and that you can start thinking about what exciting things you might want to do this summer. All right. Have a great day.